Hi Cs, how are you? We're going to get started on your love and relationship reading. This reading is good for right now, whenever that is, regardless of the date, but technically we are in the month of August. So it's an August reading, but, but, but don't let that deter you if we're in the month of September, October, November, if it's another year, like it doesn't matter. This reading is good for whenever it finds you. All right, Pisces, in case you care to know, I'm using the steampunk tarot. This is what it looks like. All right, Pisces, Holy Spirit, we're connecting with the zodiac sign of Pisces. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for Pisces at this present moment in their relationships, their partnerships, and love and romance? Let's take a look. Let's see today's topic, guys. What's going on? What's happening with Pisces right now? What's going on in their relationships? What is of most importance, of most significance? Let's take a look, Pisces. All right. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the three of swords and we have the king of swords. Okay, guys, I'm dealing with those of you that have been repeatedly disappointed. You could be single or you could be actively in a relationship right now with somebody. Whatever the case, I feel like you've uh, been very patient here with this seven of pentacles. I feel like you've invested uh, a lot into your relationships, into a specific person. And um, you find yourself at this present moment thinking, well, we, I should, we should be here. I should feel this way at this moment, or we should be at this stage in our relationship, or, you know, this should have happened already, or this, this, or that should be happening, but it's not. I feel like I've been very patient and you are still taking a step back maybe you've uh, done this you've been in this position for some time and you are carefully examining observing i'm hearing taking everything in so you're thinking about all these things you're taking everything into account and there is obviously a lot of things that you are unhappy about with the three of swords and i feel like you've been you're taking note of all of this and there's a there's a different energy <clears throat> that i'm seeing here and, and the reason I say different is because I don't feel like you, you, you've you done this. Uh, I feel like you, maybe you just started doing this recently or, or yeah, but I, I don't feel like this. You haven't had this like uh, cold analytical um, point of view towards, the, I'm hearing this relationship, this person, this this connection for 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 a long time, or you've, you, you haven't always uh, taken this approach. So I, I feel like this is fairly new for some of you. So again, I feel like this is for many of you, something that has been ongoing with the King of Swords. Do you see that? It's you're, you're taking notes. Uh, there could be um, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius of significance. This could also be the male Pisces here. We see the male in the seven of pentacles again with a pen and a, uh, a pad and they're writing something down so i feel like this is you i feel like the, you know you are um maybe not literally writing this down some of you 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 could have um but you're you're i mean you're wanting to organize your life there's things that are very important to you in a relationship or right now that you feel like you don't want to give up on or compromise. And I feel like you've been let down several times or uh, one too many times. And um, for many of you, I feel like this is something either that um, you're getting ready to communicate you know, when you have that talk, like there's something bothering you, but here's the thing, guys, I feel like you've had, you've, you've had these feelings for a while. Maybe some of you have communicated this before. <clears throat> and if you have, I, I feel like this time around, you will be a little more forward about your expectations. King of Swords, Three of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is a feminine energy that we're seeing here that's carrying Ten Wands. So I do see someone that is uh, feeling overwhelmed. This could be uh, the feminine energy or a feminine energy in, in this situation. Come on, Ten of Wands, isn't it? Why isn't it focusing? Anyways, you see there's 10 wands on their back and look at the way the card looks like, gosh, it just, uh, it's just something that needs to be done. So I'm, I'm seeing this 10 of wands guys as, uh, <clears throat> the person that this King of Swords is, um, well, take, taking note of, you see this King of Swords? Let me tap into this Ten of Wands a little bit more. And here's the thing, guys. I do feel uh, that the responsibility falls on on this on this Ten of Wands, like this person here. I I do feel a lot falls uh, on them. But it's almost as if wait. I'm hearing waiting to the last moment, or maybe not waiting to the last moment. But here at this point, at this very moment in time, I feel like it's just so much to take. You know, when you get handed like uh, maybe a to do list and you've been procrastinating on it, procrastinating, procrastinating, and then things just build up, build up, build up, build up, and then it all gets handed to you. I'm hearing in a big heavy box and you're just like, wow, and you have, you know, X amount of time to, I'm hearing organize everything and it's like, well, you're out of time. It's almost an impossible task. So that's kind of like what, what we have here, guys. I, I feel like you, you know what you want. You know what hasn't worked. I feel like you're looking at things very objectively. And again, I don't feel like this has always been you. Which says what? It says that there has been things that have happened that have put you in, in this energy. And with the Three of Swords, guys, I just feel like you're just deeply disappointed and unhappy with, with, your, with the situation with a particular person, a relationship, a connection. And um, I feel like you almost, um, I don't feel like you have tapped out yet completely but I feel like you could be at the verge of making that decision. Like, you know what? Um, let's see, let's continue with the reading guys. Tell me more, tell me more. Let's take a look at this more. What is some, yeah, let's, let's just further look into this. Yeah, we have the page of uh, wands and look at the way this page looks. You see that they have their their head down and um, there's is there a little bit of shame here as well? Like, gosh, there's a, a lack. And this is this is a page of wands, guys. Page pages are very energetic. The Page of Wands in specific is uh, highly motivated. They get excited. They like to move. They jump into things quickly. And this Page of Wands here just looks tired. They don't look inspired at all. Do you see? So there's a lack of motivation. There's a lack of inspiration. There's even a lack of, of I'm hearing a purpose of, of energy coming from I'm going to, I'm calling, it's the feminine energy because here we have uh, two feminine energies. Do you see that? Yeah. We have the four of wands. Um, let's clarify this, this four of wands. And do you see how in the four of wands there is there's two women and there it looks like they're making preparations they're doing work do you see what they're they're putting those uh, those sticks up they're decorating they got things to do so you see i feel like there's a lot of things to do this relationship this connection is having to uh, it's at a point 
where it should be moving forward. It should be taking that next step. But somebody um, is, is just finding this process. I'm hearing this task as uh, being to even tedious in, in a way, page of wands. So this ju is just manifesting, guys, for many of you as a person that uh, perhaps doesn't sense the urgency. That could that could be the reason why they're 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 missing the urgency here. Because look, look at this masculine energy, the Seven of Wands. That guy means business. Do you see? There is an emotional detachment as well that I'm seeing here in this King of Swords. Like, you know what? Not uh, not to say that they are insensitive, but um, again, I, I feel like there's been repeated disappointments because the Seven of Pentacles does talk about delays. It talks about having to continuously revise things over and over and over until you get things right so i do feel like this masculine energy that i'm seeing here and if you are a woman of a female you you could be the masculine energy what when, when i mean what and i say masculine energy i'm not referring to like a man i mean it it and, and i think most of you understand how that th those energies work already but anyways um seven of pentacles yeah do you see that He's, he's looking like, okay, this is working, this is working, this needs to move here, that needs to move there, um, this needs to be added. So, you know, it's, it's, there is a, 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 a need to get this right. This job here needs to get done this way. And because I have, I'm hearing rearrange this and try different things already added. I'm hearing and subtracted. Um, I already, I, you know, I'm at the point where I know I'm hearing exactly what needs, what needs to happen, what I need to get, what, what needs to transpire here, where this needs to go. And three of swords. Well, that, uh, at this present moment, it's not looking like something that is possible. You see, and the king is king of swords knows, and he's jotting everything down. So that's what I see, guys. This is serious, but this one right here, um, gosh, I mean, we could speculate so many things, right? Why, 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 why? And for each and every one of you, why this person? I'm hearing it's not. Uh, jumping into action i mean there's so many factors reasons be behind that uh, answer there let's continue let's look at this ten of wands this page of wands and the four of wands okay we have the justice card and then we have the knight of cups Do you notice we're looking into this feminine energy and the we continuously can uh, get uh, feminine energy in the cards? All right, so gosh, we ha we have the justice card, guys. You know, with the justice, like I'm hearing a verdict. You know, when the judge gives you, gives you a verdict and this is just uh, what you're handed based on the circumstances, based on your position, based on the situation and, um, you know, where you stand, I'm hearing in this trial, this is what needs to happen. So I feel like this, this feminine energy here un understands, um, I'm hearing they understand. I mean, it's, it's not like they don't know. So you see, I'm asking a little while. I'm like, why are they in this energy, right? Ten of Wands. You could say this person is might be. I'm hearing dragging, dragging butt. You know, because it's it's heavy. So you you go real you go really slow. So again, 
I feel like this has been piling up, piling up, piling up. There's been a procrastination here, procrastination. And uh, I'm hearing, well, time's, time is up, time is almost up. And uh, I'm hearing you haven't made that that progress. I'm hearing that you said you were gonna do. You, this still hasn't, this, 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 and this still hasn't uh, happened. I'm hearing these relationship goals, you, you still have not, um, I'm hearing completed them or reached them. And and I, you know, uh, that might sound insensitive and it's not me. I'm just reading the energy in the cards. But frankly, I don't I don't really think it, it is because uh, the justice card is here. And that is a card that says that things are fair, even if it's uh, I'm hearing a, a certain burden or responsibility falls on one person. It, it doesn't mean that it's unfair and not with the justice card being here and not with the king of swords either. Like, I don't feel like this person is trying to be mean. But, but they're certainly emotionally uh, detached, it seems just a, a little bit, but that's because of the Three of Swords, the repeated, I'm hearing disappointments that have been experienced. Justice, so yeah, I'm hearing this, this falls on them. Because this to me looks like a person that has been busy, right? Just look at the way that they look. Right. OK, you know, they're trying to find a solution. That's the seven of pentacles. The seven of pentacles tries to find a, 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 a solution. And so does the king of swords. Who is, is 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 very just. And then we have this knight of cups. So look at this knight of cups, look at the way that it looks, the posture, the way the that the face, how it's tilted to the side. Um, this this feels like, um, this Knight of Cups feels like a person that is trying to kiss your butt, right? Like, uh, like after all, all that, right? After, after all this, after, you know, the, the lack of uh, action here. They are trying to what is the word? They're trying to I'm hearing convince you because that's what it looks like to me. It's it looks like it's trying to convince, like, you know what, yeah, you know, um I I know I know about that and 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 I know that too, and and I know you know what what I have not done or what I have done, and I know how things are, and and um, I I know what has happened and what has not. But you know what? Um, it's not that bad. It's it's not that bad. Is what this feels like. Or you know what? Maybe I can work around this, right? Like this one looks like a smooth talker to me. Like they're trying to charm, right? This justice card. Do you see that? Like they're charming this justice. Like, you know what? Maybe if I go about it in this way, I can get off. That's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, so what is something that uh, Pisces, what is something Pisces should uh, know? What is something Pisces cross watcher should know? What is something Pisces cross watcher should know about the situation at this very moment about what's going on? We have the seven of cups. You see it's masculine energy, like watch they're looking. There's so many options. There's so, so many, there's just so much in front. And then we have the 10 of swords. Gosh, guys, you know, I feel like this is that the masculine energy is this is this person here, the king of swords and the seven of swords. I feel like they're faced with with a choice. That's the seven of pentacles and things are a little hazy and they're hazy a little bit, guys. I'm telling you, it's because of this, right? It's like it's not that bad. Like I know this three of swords, whatever it is, but you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, like this is somebody that, um, like I'm picturing somebody at school and 
I, like they haven't done the work and it's the end of the semester and they're talking to the teacher like, well, you know, can you, uh, you know, there's this or that. And there's like maybe some excuses and, and yeah, trying to, um, I mean, trying to get by knowing that, uh, well, there's uh, consequences. I'm hearing this justice, there's consequences and there's re there's repercussions, there's uh, accountability. And the masculine energy here is faced with a choice, seven of cups. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? It's a little hazy too. It's a little hazy, which means what? It means that there could be a lot of doubt. What do I do? And they're thinking. With the Ten of Swords, I feel like deep down inside what this masculine's energy, what their intuition is telling them is that this is a bad idea with the Ten of Swords. It's almost as if they know. They know how this can go. And I feel like they are just, I feel like they're, they're exhausted. Or they're, they're at the point where they know that this King of Swords knows what's at stake. They know where the relationship is. They know what's going on. They know what's going to happen next because the Seven of Pentacles says that there has been something repeatedly done over and over and over and over again. I'm hearing it every time it's, it's, it's not good. It's been a disappointment. It's been negative. So they know that that is just going to continue. They know deep down inside their intuition with the seven of cups is telling them this is going to end up the same or maybe even worse with the 10 of swords. They know, well, I ask, this is something it is that you should know. This, we could also see this as advice with the seven of cups is saying, choose wisely. It's saying, choose wisely. It's saying, use your intuition, use your past experience. There, there are many options, many choices in front of you. Based, I'm hearing on your analysis with the uh, seven of pentacles based on what you know, what is the best decision that you need to make? So there isn't, uh, there's this, this, this is not about a lack of awareness. <clears throat> this is more so about uh, being uh, negatively emotionally uh, influenced, I would say with the seven of cups, which does, you know, you have, it does, uh, inspire some some emotion there so that is something you should know so um what is going to come next what is going to come next as the weeks and as the days and the weeks continue to go by what can you expect to be developing and unfolding in this situation here in this month of august or whenever it is that you find yourself watching this reading let's see let's see Woo. We have the Fool, and then we have the Two of Swords. Okay, the Fool. I wanna get one more card. And then we have the Two of Swords. So before I pull the other card, the Fool says, guys, I feel like you're taking, you're gonna try something different. So I feel like this is good because we've seen from the get-go that there's been something, you know, um, a certain approach something that you've been doing over and over and over, maybe a, a pattern here that has produced, I'm hearing the same results. And you are at a point where in order to find the change it is that you're looking for, you're needing to try something different, something new. And that's perfect, guys. With the full, I see you taking a different direction, again, a different approach. There is a change here. And uh, with the two of swords reversed, I feel like you there is a sense of clarity. We saw a little while ago with the seven of cups that there might be some doubt there, some uncertainty about what you should do. 
but only because emotionally you might be allowing your emotions a little bit to sway you and that's normal uh, i mean we all have feelings it would be great if we could if it was like a light switch that we could turn off whenever we needed to right but it's not like that we're human we have feelings so that's okay what's important is that we're able to decipher right and i see that you doing that with the two of swords reverse so um as the weeks and the days as the days and the weeks continue to go by guys i do see you again gaining a sense of clarity i even see you perhaps gaining information things developing that allow you to um have more confidence in in the decisions and the choices and the direction it is that you should take so that's wonderful. There could be a cute little dog. Do you see? There's a cute little dog right there. So cute. So yeah, two of swords, I feel like there's no doubt. And there's no doubt now, but again, I feel like it's normal. You know, like, gosh, I don't know. I don't know. Should I, should I try, Can you know, try, should I try again? Or should I continue you know, uh, wh how, how, with things the way that they are. This is how things are going to be tra transpiring. This is future insight for you, future insight. We have the two of wands and then we have the sun card. For others of you, there might even be a new relationship here, guys, especially so with the full, something completely different. If not a new uh, relationship, I feel like for many of you, there might not be a relationship now, especially so because we see uh, a single person here, but I feel like you might be uh, opening the door to that i mean because there is a connection a person here a situation right that um you know is only going to continue to disappoint you so many of you are making the decision to uh, go explore i'm hearing new territory to open the door to other possibilities in in love and to a source that's you're pretty sure about that decision there's nothing clouding your mind anymore and you're you're pretty you're sure that you have all the details and all the information that have allowed you to make a sensible decision so that's wonderful and then we have the sun card guys but first we got the two of wands so you see the two of wands and here again we see a single person they're in a balcony and they're looking ahead and they're it's so it's like this is i'm seeing this as you pisces looking at the vast horizon in front of you i'm hearing all this ocean of fishes out there like there's more than one fish i'm hearing in the sea for you and that's you looking okay making plans this is the direction that i'm taking i am going to go expand my horizons i'm going to go explore i'm going to put myself out there and see what i encounter i have an open mind i have an open heart and i'm doing what is necessary in order to i'm hearing move forward move my life forward my love life my relationships in in the direction that i would like them to go or I'm putting myself in the situations to make that that a reality. And then that's when we see the sun card, guys. Look at that. And that's in the here of out of out of out of the cards. Do you see? Single. Single. And then here you're with somebody. I'm also seeing this as the feminine energy that we saw not too long ago, guys. Um under like just um having something very very clear in front of them right because we saw that a little while ago like there is like it's like we saw that feminine energy there like do they know their um, what's going on and i feel like they do but i feel like there there's been a pattern here of you know we're consistently nothing they're not held accountable And here it's quite clear what is happening. So with the sun card, guys, I do see you finding happiness. There is a loving, uh, joyful relationship here for you in your future. So that's lovely to see, guys. Beautiful energy. And there we see that cute little dog again, which is great, right? Because look, we see it here at the beginning of the journey, right? This is the, the your new journey, this new path that you are uh, going to put yourself on, a new relationship.
a new connection, making yourself, I'm hearing, open and available. And then that's when we get the sun card. And you see how there's a little doggy here and then we see it there as well. Guys, and this is, oh my God, I see you being so incredibly happy. I'm hearing there's so much reciprocity as well. So much joy, so much fun. Oh, guys, these are fun times, beautiful energy. I love this, guys. This is how we're ending your reading. This is what you can expect. I'm hearing when you make the right choices and you already know what that choice is, guys. Uh, beautiful energy. I love it. All right, let's continue by pulling some oracle messages all right pisces if you want to book a reading with me you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box it's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me this is the soul helper oracle all right pisces i love that i love how your reading ended guys with the sun card so I'm, I'm hearing again, listen to your intuition, know that you're being divinely guided, follow your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations. I'm hearing don't settle for less as well with the sun card. It's saying to listen, listen to your higher guidance, you're, you see clearly. Tear tear down the walls around your heart give and receive security and warmth i love that it reminds me of that little white dog and it's a it's a woman that is like hugging a little guinea pig or a rabbit or i think it's a rabbit tear down your walls around your heart give and receive security and warmth so um I feel like this Oracle card guys is just telling you to uh, be open. And I see that with the sun card. Do you see like I, I, I feel like this card really um, depicts what we saw there at the end of your reading. Despite of whatever disappointments, right? Whatever happened in, in whatever situation that is, I feel like it's saying do not be discouraged. And I don't see you being discouraged. I, I see you understanding that there is something better for you. Tear down the walls around your heart, give and receive security and warmth. Maybe that's something that you were missing out of this connection in this relationship. Maybe you weren't receiving the, the warmth, the, the love, as well as the security it is that you deserve, that you needed. I'm hearing that you asked for. Uh, we have awakened the magic of your creativity. And remember I said, guys, there's plenty of other fishes in the sea. Look, there's fishies there. There's fishes there. It says, awaken to the magic of your creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings. Oh my God. Absolutely, guys. I feel because um, for many of you, I've been uh, translating this as you being that masculine energy that we saw there at the beginning. Um, and I feel like you've had to emotionally remove yourself from the situation. I'm hearing, you know, repeatedly being disappointed or or hurt over and over. I'm hearing it becomes kind of numbing. And I feel like maybe you've been in that energy for a little while and um, maybe uh you're not necessarily scared of your feelings but there's a disconnection there that has happened and i feel like this card is just saying you know start warming up to that and well it's going to be very easy with that sun card there guys warmth 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 guys immerse yourself in the world of feelings one more card from this deck one more card Pisces, beautiful reading, guys. I love it. It says, nature is calling you. It wants to touch, fulfill, and protect you with its healing powers. Get out into nature, go to a park, or um, if you live somewhere where you can hike, go hiking, go, just go out into nature, guys. If you're not around, um, you know, if you don't live in, in a place, maybe you live in the city, maybe you're not close to any uh, um, parks or a forest or, <clears throat> or a beach, you could simply, you know, go outside when the temperature is nice, maybe even at nighttime, I'm hearing just, you know, opening even a window and allowing yourself to breathe, guys. It's, it's just, I mean, it's all about just connecting, connecting with nature. Nature is calling you, so get out, guys. Beautiful energy. All right, the key, closing, closing message. 
from the key oracle pisces closing message closing message guys oh here it is these two cards it says full circle oh my goodness yes completion yeah, guys, I feel like you are completing a cycle, completing, a, a closing a relationship. This reminds me of the world card. It's like an ending and it's a whole new beginning for you guys. You have chosen to learn from your mistakes. That's what's happening. You're, you're choosing to learn from your mistakes. That's that seven of pentacles, that man there that's like, okay, this, 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 the king of swords taking note. You, ha you have chosen to learn from your mistakes and move forward, closing out the cycle. Doesn't that go, guys? Every layer of yourself you acknowledge is a layer that serves its purpose. You are now feeling your power by seeing your inner strength and determination pay off. Be proud of this moment and let it carry you forward inflexible. And it says change you or the person involved. This is talking about that person guys. Oh my goodness. You're, you're just, you're, you're done. And I, again, I feel like you've maybe given this person many chances guys. And you're just at the point where you're, you know what, you're, you're taking the lesson and you're understanding, you're evolving, you're expanding your mind, your consciousness. And, and you can see, I'm hearing the pattern in front of you. And you know what you have to do. It's it's time for you to learn from this experience and, and close it out and take that lesson with you guys and that wisdom as well. Inflexible, that other person. Change, you, are, you or the other person involved are set in ways that are impending growth. Be more open-minded and see the other person's point of view to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Oftentimes being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest flexibility is needed to create flow this is what i have for you pisces thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you as always truly it was an honor and my pleasure you guys take care okay bye bye <laughs>